We'll start with World, I'm sorry, Heavyweight Championship Boxing. <laughs> so, um, I, I'm not really, uh, I'm not really into boxing, but I am really, really into Punch Out for the NES. One of my favorite game series is Punch Out. I love Punch Out for the NES. Oh my gosh, so much! I would play it right now. Uh, and likewise, the uh, the more modern game uh, Punch Out for the Wii for the Nintendo Wii. I play those games to the death. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. I can't beat them, but you know, <laughs> I love them. And uh, so I was kind of interested in something similar for the Game Boy. So uh, to get it out of the way, this is not this isn't really that too similar to uh, Punch Out. Um, so what this is is it is a boxing game, and <laughs> it's actually quite clever. It makes sense because you know even though even though Punch Out is designed like a boxing game, look like a boxing game, the reality is it's kind of a, a Twitch arcade uh, action and response game. Uh, the boxers give their tells and then you respond accordingly. That would be really hard to do that kind of speed on a tiny black and white Game Boy screen with motion blur. Eh, it's going to be a different experience. So this game is not like that. Instead, as uh, you start the match, <laughs> I was really impressed. It's really cool. There's like two two modes of uh, the game. So as you're playing, you start on opposite sides of the ring and it's kind of a, a three quarters view, you know, overhead-ish uh, view of the ring and your little boxers walk around. And as they get close to each other, the game instantly flips to a first person view and you start, uh, you start boxing, you know, it looks like punch out. And <laughs> it's a really neat effect. And then as you're dodging and if you uh, step away, it'll flip back to the overhead view. So you can, as you move around the ring, it was really, it's really well done, really clever. And I mean, the punching feels good. Uh, apparently there's, there's some mechanic where the, you have to do something special to actually knock out your opponent. I haven't learned that yet. I haven't played it much, but I'm excited to give it a try. It looks, uh, it was one of the earliest games that came out for the Game Boy, which I love. I love the older games. And uh, yeah, I'll have to figure that out sometime. Uh, let's see here, Tech Mobile. So likewise, another sports game. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not really into American football, um, but no. Somebody. Uh, this came with a recommendation that uh, I asked. That what was my question? Like, do you have to be interested in American football to like this game? And they're like, Nah. It's just. It's just a good game. Anybody can enjoy this. Uh, I've heard about. I have coworkers that uh, love the NES game. Um, I, I assume this is the same. Basically, the same game. Um, According to other places, online uh, polls and stuff, this is the, there's quite a few uh, football games for Game Boy, and this is the uh, the most fun one. Yeah, so I decided to round out my my sports collection with uh, a football game. So what do I have? I have a soccer game, boxing, football. I don't know. I don't. I'm not really. Oh, I have a base, baseball. You know, I was gonna say a baseball game, but it's literally baseball. Um, yeah. I guess I have a few sports games. I am more interested in, uh, I'm less interested in reliving, you know, having a portable sport experience in my hands, uh, and more interested in just games that are just fun. Uh, spoilers, the soccer game I have is not fun. <laughs> but, oh well. Bought that back before the internet was big. All right, let's see here. Uh, Word Tris. Um, so I got this. I did turn this on. So before buying it, I did try it out briefly and uh, <laughs> Yeah, it was surprisingly addicting so I Got this game for two reasons number one. I was really getting into it It's a slow paced game and because you know you need time it, Sorry, so the gameplay is exactly like I would expect where letters fall from the top of the screen and you spell out words to make them disappear Whew. And uh, which sounds exhausting because you know there's a lot of words you gotta rearrange them around the field, but no, it works out pretty. It's pretty neat how they how they did it, and uh, the game does start quite slow to give me lots of time to spell out words, and it's just it's just fun to see if I can arrange the letters on the screen and uh, make the blocks disappear. The other reason I got it is fun. The second reason I got it is because I kind of have a 
I kind of want to, I think it'd be fun to collect all the Tetris or Tris games for the Game Boy. I think the only one I'm missing this, at this point is Hatris. Eh, I might get that someday. But yeah, Fortress is cool. Uh, the last one, <laughs> the last one is Caesar's Palace. So this is an incredibly common, uh, what is it, casino gambling game. And I, I don't know, I bought it because it was less than $2. <laughs>